Um, I wonder if in two minutes I can explain the difference between a narcissist and a, border, a narcissistic man and a borderline man who um, can be narcissistic. Now, I'm really thinking about my own partner, but I'm going to use an example of someone else. Someone else, because this, because it's outside of me, it's I can see it more easily. I don't get lost. I can see the forest for the instead of all the trees. You know, they say you can't see the forest for the trees. So this is a story about my friend Jamie and his boyfriend Evan. Okay, now now I have to make sure that Jamie never sees this. It's okay. No, that, uh, uh, those are made up names. Um. I haven't had much sleep in a while. So my friend Jay um, was very much in love with his older boyfriend. Let's call him E. And um, E spoiled him and gave him everything. And they truly loved each other. And um, Jay wanted to be with E for all eternity. But as is always the case in relationships, he had some complaints. He thought that um, E was emotionally distant sometimes. So there were obviously two men in a long-term romantic relationship. And one night, Jay got really sleep-deprived, and he lost control of his emotions entirely and started screaming and ranting and even threatened to physically hurt his beloved E, Evan. Um, Sorry, I'm getting text right now. I'm having a hard time um, dissimulating. And so, wisely, he even said that um, Evan was afraid to go to sleep because Jay told him that uh, if, he go to, if he went to sleep, he might hurt him in his sleep. He threatened to kill him in his sleep. He was really out of it. But he did that. And when I met him a year and a half later, he was desperately pining to get, he was desperately pining to get